Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and iOS 17 has been released for over a week now and it's actually a great update for iPhone users. It has a lot of improvements, a lot of changes that will make your life easier. So in this video, I will share with you guys some really awesome features that are actually very, very useful and I believe every iPhone user must know and use them on their device or running iOS 17. Now, first of all, we're heading into the settings app. So, you know, previously with iOS 16 and earlier, when you want to check for an update, you go to general software update. And if you don't see an update here, you wanna recheck, you will have to actually go back and go back here in order to check again for the update. With iOS 17, all you have to do is just pull here and it will actually refresh the page and check for the update. On iOS 17, you can now seek through live pictures just like you would do with the video. Now, the way this works, when you're viewing a live picture, you will see a little preview right here. All you have to do is just tap on it. You can see right now it expands it and you can just go ahead and seek through that live picture as easy as that. The spotlight search has seen a lot of improvements with iOS 17. Now you can just simply type a number here on the search bar and you can actually call that number directly from here. Not just call, you can make a FaceTime call or even send a message. So once you have entered the number here, you can just tap go if you wanna quickly call or you can choose one of the other options right there. So you will have FaceTime, messages and call or you can tap right there to actually add that number. And this right here is really cool. On the spotlight search, I can just type meeting or conference or appointment or anything and the time of that and I can just tap go to add the event. And right there at the top, you can see right there the actual event has already been created automatically by iOS and I can just tap the add button right here and it will take me into the calendar app where I can add all the different details I would want to add to this in this case of this event to this meeting, location, of course, start ends and all that stuff. And I can just go ahead and automatically add that directly from the spotlight search to the calendar app. And this right here is very useful as well. When you go now to change your password, on your settings app, when you go to change the passcode to add another, a new one, it will actually show you right here that you can use the old password for the next 72 hours. Of course, you can actually disable that if you don't wanna use that, but just in case you actually forgot your new password, you will have the chance to actually use like you normally would your old password for the next three days, which is actually pretty cool and very, very convenient as a lot of times if you have used the passcode for maybe a really long time and you add a new one, you will find yourself trying the old passcode a lot. So this is actually very convenient. So for the next 70, 72 hours, you will be able to still use the old passcode even though you have changed a new one. Now, of course, you can use both of them at the same time, the old and the new password as well. Now this is another new feature of iOS 17. When you're uploading pictures with iOS 17, you will now find here a new options button and right here it says location is included, which means that when you upload this picture, it will also include the location on the info of the picture. But you can tap the options button right here and you will see everything basically that is enabled with this picture. So you can choose the size there to which size you wanna actually upload. You can choose right here the format and then you will have captions and locations if you'd want to disable those so remove those from the info of the picture before you upload it you can just turn them off and click the done button now previously on iOS 16 you would have a button here to scan text from the menu you could scan text you will no longer see that button on iOS 17 but you will see a new button called autofill now with autofill you can tap right there and now you get three different options you still get the scan text option right there but you can also insert a contact right here or insert one of the passcodes that you have saved on your settings app now this right here is actually pretty cool and very very convenient so apple actually does a lot of these things that just makes your life easier so when someone sends you an iMessage and the text says send me a pic or send me a picture or send me an image like this one right here once you go to type something you will actually have the option here to choose the picture you tap there and it takes you to your photo library where you can choose a picture or what you can do is just tap where it says picture on the message so if i'm here I don't even need to go to the to the keyboard, just tap right there on the picture and it will take me right to my photos app and from here I can select a picture that I want to send. On Safari, when you go to the search bar, 
all you have to do is just type weather and you can see right here what it does it shows you the weather for your current location at the top of the safari page so just like that you can see other cities that are near you and of course the weather for the next week and tomorrow but at the top right there you will see the current weather for your current location now with facetime on ios 17 you will be able of course to use the video effects which you can see right here in the control center but what you can also do if you have enabled portrait you can actually tap the three dots and then you will see a slider here now this slider will allow you to adjust the depth of field for the portrait effect so you know the portrait effect has a depth of field it even does have it on the camera app and even when you take a portrait picture you can still edit that picture and change the depth of field well you can do that for your video calls right here from the control center now this right here is another very useful feature of ios 17 you know on ios 17 we can now download maps for offline using but what ios 17 does is that when you're going somewhere so you can see we have a route here that we have to go if it knows that the seller coverage on that area is poor it will give you a prompt here to actually download the map before you go there so you have the map offline so even if there's no like good seller coverage, you will still have the map downloaded offline on your device and you can use it without a problem. Now we're probably all of us are just bored of the old ringtones that we got on iOS for years now. Well, with iOS 17, you can finally use new ringtones. So head on to your settings, go to sounds and haptics. When you go to ringtone here, we still have the old one, but we have a ton of new ringtones here that Apple has added with iOS 17. And they actually waited until the last RC version that they released to add these to iOS so they're pretty cool a lot of people like these so you can now finally use a new ringtone for your iPhone and did you know this if you actually have a voice message and you start playing it on the iMessage app when you go to the lock screen it will still play so there we have the message we can play and pause and have all the different controls right on the lock screen so we don't actually need to stay within the app or just have our iphone unlocked in order to listen to the message all you have to do is just start playing and you can now continue listening to it even on your lock screen on the iMessage app, you will have, of course, the iMessage apps that you download from the App Store. Now, previously, if you want to remove any of them from the iMessage app, you had to actually completely delete the app from your device. Well, with iOS 17, you can now just simply go to your settings, go to messages, and then right here, you will find iMessage app. And now you can just turn them off without having to actually delete those. So you turn them off. Whenever you need them back again, just come here and turn them on again, and you're good to go. Here's another pretty cool one on iMessage or anywhere you want to use stickers on iOS. You can also use emojis as stickers. So you simply tap and hold and you can now drag an emoji and actually place it right there as a sticker. Now you can of course even resize these. So if I just drag an emoji, I can resize it and even rotate it and place it as a reaction as a sticker on any message I want. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. These are 15 very useful features that you can find on iOS 17 that I think every iPhone user must know because they're very useful again and of course will make your life easier using your iPhone on daily basis. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button and of course subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.